Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In the video today, we're gonna to be going over a few more basics. We're gonna also talk about some things that I've seen the past few days in the market. Um, and we're also gonna teach you guys how to set up a bot and go over all the kind of settings within a bot so that you guys are set up for success. Um, a few things before we jump into the video. As always, nothing I say in these videos is financial advice. So please assess your current financial situation and make decisions based on that and that alone. Um, and secondly, we're going to continue uploading once a day. This one is going to be uploaded a bit later than usual, but stay tuned. And I appreciate all the support on the first few videos. Without further ado, let's jump into things. Really quickly before we really jump into things for today, I just wanted to put this out there that everything in my Telegram and on this channel is always going to be 100% free. Um, if you're in the Telegram, you know that yesterday we found out that some people are paying to get into this telegram which is completely free and all of my links are available on youtube um, they're also available on my TikTok, so please don't get scammed there are people already trying to impersonate me um, so please just be vigilant out there and feel free to hop in the telegram and also the discussion channel with that being said i wanted to update you guys a little bit on my trading wallet if you're new here i started this wallet about 17 days ago with one solana and currently we are at 6.5 solana in um you know dry powder is what i like to call it and then we have you know a few coins that were kind of just playing around on um if you guys have been in the telegram for a while you know that chant was something that made all of us a ton of money and now it's just ruining our days but um i'm holding strong on these three tokens here bro the cat chant and suitcase um we'll see what happens with these these aren't really big plays and i'm looking to make a bigger play with the salon i'm sitting on right now and really quickly now i just want to go over a few things that i've seen in the market the past few days um, just to highlight a few things to you know keep an eye out for. So yesterday the Hawk Tua coin launched and um, a complete and total catastrophe failure on this team's part. And honestly, they scammed every single person who bought that coin. And so I'm really glad if all of you guys avoided it and listened to me when I say that these celebrity coins are always going to be rugs. I mean, they had a 15% fee on Meteora and they made $802,000 just on the liquidity pool fees alone. Um, so it's really, really easy for, you know, celebrities to launch tokens and completely rug their entire audience. So please just stay away from them. Um, and with that being said, we're going to go over now um, what I personally like to do if I'm, you know, looking to make a new play and I'm just going to do a quick scan of the market for you guys um, in the sense that like, okay, there's nothing really new out there that I'm, you know, eyeing right now. So I'm just going to go take a peek on some of the older tokens. So what I just did there is I input it in the DEX filters, um, a minimum market cap of 500,000 and then the minimum pair age of 1600 hours. So I'm looking for older tokens. As you can see the age here, these are all tokens that have been, you know, around for at least two months. Um, and essentially I just go through all of these and like whenever I see something that, you know, looks a little out of the ordinary to me, that's when I, I really start to do some digging. So, um, I've already gone through this list because, you know, I do this pretty frequently and, um, it's good. I'm really glad to see that Sigma is picking back up. Mini is picking back up. Um, but this one is something that really has caught my eye the past few days or might be my next big play. Um, I'll keep you guys updated in the telegram if I do make a decision on this. But, um, you know, what I really like to look at is if these tokens are still active, um, if their community is still, uh, you know, putting content out, if their team is still committed and just generally like what's going on with this token right now. Why is it at 16 million when it's all time high was 60 previously? Okay, so one of the main questions I'm asking myself when I'm looking at some of these older tokens is how active is this community? Like, are they still seriously committed to this token? Um, like, you know, what's going on? And if we just look at the chart, we can kind of get a pretty good sense of how strong this community originally was. Um, you know, it started in early June and by August, they were at 75 mil. Um, and then, you know, flash forward about a month later, the lows down here are as low as 3.5 mil. Um, and right now we're at 16 mil. And we obviously just came off of a very, 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 very steep um, sell off from about 50 mil. Um, so to me, I mean, 
their main question is how active is this community, but this could be something that, you know, you potentially might want to make a play on. Um, and, you know, this is what I do with the older tokens. I go through all of them and I really just ask myself basic questions. And in my opinion, if you're a beginner, like you should be looking at these older tokens for these two to three to maybe even 10 X's because um, you don't have to worry about the risk of being rugged for the most part. I mean, these coins and these teams have been committed and working for months on end. Um, and, you know, in this market, that's that's about as good as it gets. So. Um, I like to go through all of these and really just, um, you know, if you're new, familiarize yourself with some of these tokens and just keep track of them. I mean, Stan, we were buying Stan in the in the Telegram down at 3.5 mil. Um, we're almost at a 2x here already. And this is just because I was scanning the markets like I'm showing you guys right now. All right, so with that market and wallet update out of the way, we are going to now jump into actually setting up a Photon bot for the first time. Um, and it's pretty simple, it's not too complex. Um, it's very similar to just connecting your wallet to a D app, but in this example, I'm gonna be using a burner. Um, I suggest you do the same just in general, but Photon is a trusted um, bot, so you, you really shouldn't have to worry too much about it. But this is the process of actually setting one up for the first time. Um, you're gonna log in, it's gonna show you the option to show you your private key and if you want to import that into your Phantom um, so that you can actually see your Photon balance just like a regular thing here, you would just quickly import private key and then copy and paste that in. Um, I normally do that with the bots that I do but like if you're kinda new, you don't necessarily need to. Um, I do recommend, you know, if you are copy and pasting a private key like make sure your computer doesn't have malware and make sure that you're doing um, things by the book because if, if your private key is leaked, you're done. So be very careful about that. All right, and before we jump into things on Photon, I just wanna preface this by saying not all of you guys are gonna to need to set up a bot. This is really only for more serious traders who are like going to be on top of newer launches. So if you're a more casual trader or you're somebody who's looking for older tokens, I honestly would suggest that you don't set up a Photon bot or any bot for that matter because you're gonna end up spending a lot of money on fees and that's not good for your portfolio. If you do use a bot though, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you're gonna receive an airdrop for it at some point. So that's also something to keep in mind if you are gonna play that angle. We'll talk a lot more about airdrops in a future video video so don't worry too much about that right now okay but now we are in photon and the first thing we're going to do is just jump into our settings really quick um we are going to need to change around some of these settings to optimize our performance um and essentially the first thing that we'll go over is slippage and slippage essentially is just the price difference that you're willing to pay if there's a lot of volatility on a token and you know let's say you're trying to buy at 1 million if your mark if your slippage is at 20 percent um, you're basically telling the bot that you're willing to pay up to 1.2 million to force your transaction through, if that makes sense. Um, so I like to keep my slippage extremely low. Um, 3% as a max is probably enough for you guys. And you know, if you're trading these really high volatility, you know, new launches, you're probably gonna wanna turn your slippage up, but that also comes with a lot higher fees and also sacrificing price. So, um, you know, Experiment with it, see what works for you. This is what I recommend. Okay, the second thing on this list is the smart MEV protection switch. And essentially, if you just hover over this info bar, you should get a better understanding of what's going on. Um, but if you flip this on, you're gonna have a lot like slower transactions because you're only going through one validator. Um, without getting too into the weeds on this, I normally just keep it on fast. MEVs are gonna happen. And you know, if you're trading the right tokens, you usually should be avoiding them. Okay, the next thing we're going to see here is this set speed option and just hover over this info bar, read what this says. Basically what this means is that do you want Photon to automatically try to push your transactions through or do you want to have some control over it? Um, I like to have control over it. If you guys are new, maybe you want to do the auto, but there are going to be situations where Photon is going to try to jam transactions for you and those are going to be expensive. So I would just stick to default if you're a new trader and you don't fully understand what this means. Okay, and then the next two options, if you're a new trader, shouldn't really be too applicable for you because essentially what these do is really give you priority over other users. So if you're not trading legitimate size, you really shouldn't be messing with these in my opinion. And honestly, if anything, just turn them down. 
like unless you're actually trading daily with a lot of size, these bribery amounts and priority fees aren't going to be effective for you. And especially if you're trading with small amounts, like you're gonna get wrecked with these. Okay, then save those settings and you will be ready to start trading with this bot. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is actually add some Solana to your wallet. And um, there's a whole wallet, wallet management option here. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just fund your wallet by sending tokens to it. And then once you actually have Solana in here, then you can actually start trading on this platform. Okay, and that's a quick overview on how you can set up your first bot. Um, in a future video, we'll go over kind of how to navigate Photon and some things that I personally do when I'm on these type of trading platforms. Um, and we also in the future will go over setting up Telegram bots. So if you're a mobile user, you might want to install a Telegram bot so you can actually do all of your trading on the go. Um, but these will be something that I go over in future videos. Again, we're just building upon the knowledge that we're gaining in each video. So I'm still trying to keep things pretty um, basic for the time being. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.